Mr. Davis began realizing his entrepreneurial dreams 20 years ago or more. His first business was Red Vinyl uh, Records, recording label that he began in uh, 1991, which is something we talked about, uh, and I think at uh, Foxwood or someplace once, didn't we? Uh, in any case, uh, uh, he's <coughs> released dozens of award-winning albums distributed throughout the world and continues to develop, and he continues to develop uh, and record new native talent. So I have some people I'd like to introduce you to. Uh, now, uh, philanthropically, Gary, in the last seven years, has traveled over around 150,000 miles throughout the United States, bringing hope and empowerment to over 450 Native American communities as the spokesman for the Reaching the Res Tour. He's also helped to raise nearly a million half dollars to ensure the success of this effort. Now, for over two decades, Mr. Davis has measured his success as an entrepreneur with his passion to better the future of the Indian country and serve as a source of inspiration for thousands of Native people across North America. So it is my distinct pleasure at this point in time to give you Mr. Gary Lightfoot Davis.
care. Yes, you can.
You know, uh, every single one of us has a purpose. The unfortunate thing is that some of us might be concerned without ever having come in touch with what that purpose is. If there's one thing that I can ever say that I'm most grateful for, or that is my biggest blessing, is that I didn't have to wait to be 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, to understand that I was put here on this earth for a reason and a purpose. That the Creator, all before that my body made it to this earth, had a reason for me. And you know what? That makes us all instantaneously the same. Because I'm no different, better than anybody in this room. Because every single one of you was put here on this earth for a purpose or reason, with something to accomplish. And it's interesting because not very long after we get here, we start instantaneously becoming distracted with everything that you can imagine as children. And then on our journey, sometimes people with good intentions do some incredibly horrible, horrendous things. Good intention, good and well-placed things that get people so far off out in the weeds and we wonder why and we wonder how that could have ever coming from that place ended up with that end result I'm blessed I'm blessed Amen. and I can honestly say that to you and I'm not specifically talking about money. I'm not talking about accomplishments on this earth. I'm blessed because I know why I am here on this earth. Everything else is sort of inconsequential. And it's crazy when you kind of look at the world and, and this journey from that point of view. At some of the things, people make such big deals on a daily basis. Things that people get so wrapped up in. And then again, with good intentions, we see people ushering folks along that path at light speed. What do I specifically mean? Johnny, you should be this. You should go do that. How do we know? How do we know? How do I know? what you've been born for. Well, how do we encourage, how do we get somebody in touch with that? And it's hard to look around this world today and find anything that gives people that tie to their purpose. That thing that fulfilled them. That thing that they don't need a mother and a father there 24 hours a day for ultimately. That they don't need a wife there for. That they don't need a best friend there for. That they don't need an uncle there for. That they don't need a grandma or a grandpa there for. That they don't need somebody to hold their hand and walk them through something because they have found a way to be self-sufficient in their journey because they know where they get their strength. I mean, isn't that really what we're looking for? I mean, when you really break it down, aren't we looking for ways to be self-sufficient? We're looking for tools to build within our framework that we can then go to to provide for our family, to give us a level of accomplishment, and to do something for our community. I mean, I hope that those would be three of many things, maybe, that are up there at the top of your list. But sometimes we get so wrapped up in getting to those things, we give people tools that don't have any meaning. And then we wonder why the tools don't go anywhere. We wonder, how could you not want to speak your language? How could you not be interested in your traditional ways? How could you not want to not beat your wife? How could you not want to not drink? How could you not not want to be an alcoholic or an addict? Or how could you not want to do something with your life to contribute for future generations of our people? How could you not? want to do that. But then we turn around and we see 
people say to their actions, that's the path they're on. People maybe that have grown up on a reservation their whole life. What's the thing that's missing? What, what are we overlooking? You know, in my life, you know, when you take it back to just the, sometimes people look at the music and the things that I've been able to accomplish in, in entertainment or in clothing 